welcome to my views and news some new stories from ethiopia firstly viewers uh, today we saw big demonstrations in tigray i shared pictures videos in the last two videos it seems that uh, amhara region or groups based in the amhara region are planning a counter protest which could happen in coming days reportedly uh secondly viewers uh, another activist was arrested in ethiopia today long list of people who have been arrested so far especially uh, the ones who are from the amhara region thirdly a tigrayan general was found guilty of corruption and mal administration by an ethiopian court today a trial was in progress against the general for some time and today the court passed verdict and lastly demek mekonen deputy prime minister of ethiopia is due to visit china reportedly from tomorrow is going to visit china isase worki eritrean president is just back from china What is the agenda of the visit of Demarcus Mekonnen? Is it linked to Isas Efwerki's recent visit of China? Uh, firstly, viewers, uh, we saw big demonstrations in Tigray today. Hundreds participated in several cities of Tigray. People protested in Makale. Abadi, Adwa, Adagrat, uh, Shire. We saw big rallies. and uh, the organizers of the rally said that those who uh, were protesting were idps that they were suffering because uh, they were not being uh, allowed to resettle to return to uh, from where they are uh, and uh, we know that uh, from volkai Uh, Sagad e Humaira, Western Tigray, thousands of Tigrayans were displaced. They were expelled by the Amhara forces, Amhara temporary administration there. They were forced to leave the area, and now they are in Shire, etc. And from uh, Raya to uh, people uh, were expelled, but mainly. the idps in tigray are from western zone tens of thousands are in tigray they are at schools they are at uh, hospitals uh, and uh, they are they don't have any permanent uh, houses in tigray they protest and they call for their return and they can only return if uh, tigray and amhara regions agree if tigray and ethiopian federal government agree on the future status of uh, volkai and raya because the area the two zones are disputed between tigray and amhara regions and if you remember colonel demak zaidu deputy administrator of uh, humaira volkai uh, Uh, opposed return of idps uh, to uh, western tigray to volgai a few months ago in a statement in an address in gondar he had said that uh, an effort would be made to uh, send tigrayans to the area to change the demographic balance criminal elements could enter the area uh, the zone uh, volgai so he opposed the return of idps So while today we saw big protests in Tigray by IDPs, and now the other side is making preparations for a protest as well. Reportedly in Volkayet, uh, Sagad Humaira, we could see demonstrations tomorrow or in coming days. Just a few hours ago, we got uh, information from there. Uh, that uh, government there is uh, interim government uh, installed by amhara region the interim government is led by mainly colonel demak zaidu colonel demak zaidu administration has sent message to the people to be prepared so we could see a counter demonstration in volkai thumara sagade tomorrow or in coming days 
main issue between tigray amhara both issues are unresolved walkayat and raya uh, tigrayans today try to put pressure upon ethiopian federal government international community uh, to resolve the stalemate over the st status of raya and walkayat now the other side is going to do the same it is going to take out rallies uh, it seems in coming days Secondly, viewers, uh, another Ethiopian activist has been arrested. An activist, an artist, uh, Milat David is her name, arrested uh, from her home. A long list of people uh, who has been arrested so far. Now, religious people are being arrested. Two religious elders. Two yesterday, we saw that uh, uh, an Orthodox teacher was arrested. Later, he was released, uh, and after that, another. Orthodox uh, elder was arrested by security forces. Uh, uh, so this campaign of arrests to stifle the Amhara resistance, uh, anti-government resistance in Amhara region is continuing. Thirdly, viewers, a Tigrayan general has been found guilty of corruption of mall administration. Uh, he was working as the head of uh, METAC when PMRB came to power, I think. Uh, after that, he served as head of METAC, Metals and Engineering Corporation, which is uh, headed by uh, military officers because this body manufactures defense equipment, etc. Major General Kenfe Dagneo is a Tigrayan. He led Matak, but he was arrested. He and four other army officers, three other army officers, they were charged with corruption that they bought substandard radars from a Chinese company for 214 million. Trial started, I think, around two years ago more than two years ago. The trial was in progress and today Federal High Court uh, released a verdict. Uh, Major General Kinford Dagneo has been found guilty. Uh, Tigrayans uh, have been claiming that Kinford Dagneo is a political prisoner like other prisoners too. When the war broke out, we saw that uh, tens of thousands of Tigrayans, common Tigrayans were arrested because they were accused of having sympathies or links with TPLF. But most of them were released. Some Tigrayan speaking members of Ethiopian army were arrested too. They were arrested because there were fears that they could support uh, Tigray forces. They were not part of any uh, fighting. Uh, Kenfer Dagneo's case was also projected by Tigrayans as if he was uh, a political prisoner. But he has been sentenced for corruption, it seems, for maladministration. Let's see how TPLF, how Tigray uh, interim government respond to this uh, verdict by Federal High Court. I think in Fadagno has a legal remedy available, he can appeal this decision. Lastly, viewers, uh, uh, Deputy uh, Prime Minister and a Foreign Minister of Ethiopia, uh, Demac McConnell, is going to visit China tomorrow, reportedly. A Chinese government has invited uh, Demac McConnell on the invitation of Xi Jinping, he is visiting China. On the invitation of Xi Jinping, a SARS worky Eritrean ruler visited China a few days ago. Last week, he returned after completion of four-day visit of China. Now, uh, uh, McConnell is leaving for China. What is the agenda of this visit? Uh, nothing has been said so far. Uh, is Damake McConnell's visit linked to Isas Evoki's visit? Or is he visiting China because we know that uh, Ethiopian economy is under severe stress? Ethiopia has not been able to get a bailout package from the IMF, from the World Bank. We have seen statements from IMF, World Bank spokespersons, uh, officials. IMF is uh, 
demanding assurances from other creditors and the other creditors include china too eh? and uh, world bank issued a statement as well two days ago linking uh, financial assistance for ethiopia to peace stability inclusive for development etc in ethiopia so i think uh, for having for securing imf bailout ethiopia needs green light from china too that is what was said by several experts a few weeks ago so maybe is china giving the green light to imf imf is waiting for the green light Uh, we'll have to wait to see the uh, agenda i personally think that the agenda could be either linked to isas evoke is an visit or it could be linked to uh, ethiopian economic condition ethiopia is hoping to get some sort of assistance uh, direct assistance from china or assistance through showing green light to imf for a bailout package thank you for watching